Lagos and I welcome you to the 2021 Lagos Stage Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise Activation Program happening live at the Police College Ikeja, Lagos. This is where the Lagos State Government will be giving or empowering farmers with mechanized farm machineries and farm imputes to improve and scale up their farm business. So stay tuned with Agribusiness Weekend. We are going to be giving you all the gist on our Agribusiness Weekend platform. I'm Joy Labaran. Commissioner for Agriculture, Lagos State, Abisola Olusoya. Hunger is synonymous to poverty. Therefore, creating access for beneficiaries to escape poverty is one of the objectives of the Lagos State Agricultural Value Chain Program. Lagos State is set for a new dawn of becoming the hub of agriculture in Nigeria and Africa. Therefore, there is need to do more in the agri sector. This is why the Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture via the Lagos Agropreneurship Program has set up this movement where Lagos State farmers are empowered in different value chains. They have also set up bodies that will track of the success to ensure that the tools and other empowerment materials given to the farmers are maximally utilized. So Tiabakali was great farmers. And then to my lab beneficiaries, you say you are the youth, you are the future of tomorrow. But you are not showing the energy, you are not showing the passion. Great farmers! It is therefore imperative that concerted efforts are continuously made by both public and private sector partners to improve the state's food production, processing, and marketing systems, as it is the key to job creation, livelihood sustenance, poverty alleviation, and improved standards of living. The Ministry of Agriculture has worked with all the ministries of the state to ensure that women and youth are top priorities. Commissioner of Finance Dr. Rabi Olo said activating the Agri Enterprise Initiative with this program will make agriculture deliver more than 5% to Lagos State GDP, which will in turn create more job opportunities. And this is why the ministry has commissioned a business monetary framework to track the success of the farmers. A business monetary framework because we are not just interested 
in giving out these assets or capital, we are interested in the output, we are interested in the success. And by doing so, we remain absolutely assured that uh, success that we've recorded in the past will be little compared to what we are going to record from now on. So I want to thank again Mr. Governor and also thank all our stakeholders, development partners, our farmers especially, because you are going to turn the fortune of agriculture to be seen as the real rich people within the economy. Thank you very much. Now, thank the mandate of the Ministry of Wealth Creation is to initiate, we execute, and we evaluate. We formulate policies that are wealth creation related, part of which is embodied in what we are doing today. Now, to achieve this, Mr. Governor graciously approved that we establish a graduate internship placement program. We are most of your children have already registered. We have over 70,000 graduates that have shown indication that Mr. Governor, please engage us. And to this, we're stopping at nothing to achieve this. Knowing fully well that Mr. Governor is committed to all that he has said about youth engagement, about finding solutions to all and all unemployment problems. This uh, intellectual portal was established to gamefully employ all our youths. Honorable Kende Joseph and the Oniru of Iruland, Oba Abdul Wasiu of Mongolaho, in their goodwill message, commended the commissioner who has done well for uploading the value chains. They therefore urged the youth to utilize their strengths and see to it that they become productive in their agribusinesses. This is the time that you have the strength. Utilize that strength. You have time to go from one place to another. When you get this thing, please utilize it. This is not time for you that you be thinking that you want to have one program. I want to leave this thing to my friend or this and that. When you have a business, the best thing for you is to monitor your business very well. If you don't monitor your business and you give it to someone to supervise it, the business is going to end. So I want you to use that strength. And when you are having weaknesses on it, it's very easy for you. The government has been able to take up your weaknesses, which is money. So they have given you the product, which is your capital. Utilize it. I mean, continuity is the watchword word of this administration. The administration of Baba Tunde Ratifashola started this program. And Lagos State government has continued and look at what is happening today, a reloaded value chain program. The executive governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sawonlu, in a keynote speech said 3,000 agropreneurs were to be empowered in the 2021 agricultural value chain program. According to him, this program is important for the states to move from 20% to 40% production in the next five years. The size of Lagos is less than 0.5% of the size of this country. In fact, there are some states in this country that are about 25 times the size of Lagos. So yes, they might have more land to tilt, but we will not let that defy who we are. We will not let that shortchange our people. We will not let that set us back. We will be an agri-production state. We will ensure that as much as possible, given the resources that God has provided for us, we will feed our people, we will produce what we need, we will produce what we require, and that's why you are an important sector for us as a government. We will engage you in quality food production with the utilization of modern technology in identifying agricultural value chains over the next five years. Um, so far, we've done less than 5,000. And so we have a plan to take that to 15,000. It is now called Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise Activation Program. We believe this new name will constantly remind beneficiaries that what we are doing is actually activating new business ventures for them, which means that we must reciprocate by working hard to nurture these businesses to maturity. It is only when today's beneficiaries succeed that this program can stand the chance of being sustainable. 
We believe that we want to create businesses for you, we want to create opportunity for you. We want the tech business that is being led by the youth to take the front row because that is what we see and that is what we're about. And that is what all the great youth that are sitting down that are looking at me are going to do for us. The Lagos State Agripreneurship Program with the plan to increase production in the state aims to train 5,000 youth and women. He encouraged the youth to be at the forefront of agriculture and bring technology to play in the sector. He then flagged off the official distribution of the Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise Program. It is therefore humbling that I want to formally flag off the distribution of the agricultural product asset and input for the beneficiaries of the 2021 Agricultural Value Chain Enterprise and Activation Program 2021. I say congratulations to all of you. I say welcome on board. I will personally be checking on, on all of you that are beneficiaries today. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Thank you. could not hold their jaw. They expressed deep gratitude to the Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture for their belief and support, stating that the empowerment program will go a long way to better their agribusiness. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? My name is Bukolua. So what did you benefit? Eggs. Wow. So how did you feel about today's um, um, program? I feel so very happy because um, Lagos State Government gave me the opportunity to start my own business. I'm so very glad. So we hope that you are going to start with a kick of the ministry. Right? Yes, definitely. My name is Elebi Omayo Drodolu And what did you benefit today? Uh, I am one of the beneficiaries of these boats, complete with the engine, with the fiber boat, and it is installed with fish finder. So it is very, very great. So how do you feel about today's I'm program? very, very excited. I'm from Kurodu Division. Wow. Yeah, and I'm one of the officials of Fishermen Association in Lagos State. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. The Lagos State Enterprise Activation Program was a success, and I hope that you've seen all that the Lagos State Government has put together via the Ministry of Agriculture to better improve the life of farmers in Lagos State. Beneficiaries of this program cannot express their joy enough and thank the Lagos State Government for all that they have benefited from today's event. The Lagos State Government is set to do more. To know more about the agricultural sector and its happenings in Nigeria, do well to follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Agribusiness Weekend. The Lagos State Government has promised to better the lives of farmers in Lagos State.